Four days ago, Sindhu Musewala, who was one of the biggest Punjabi music artists, found shot dead in his car with two other people. This got Punjabis all over the world very upset, including me who wasn't even the biggest fan of him, but in the end of the day, he did not deserve to die. All I've been listening to while working out is his songs and I've been thinking, why would someone want to kill him? Who would hate him so much that they want him dead? While I was listening, I remember why I wasn't the biggest fan. And that is because of all the jat here and all the jat there. Like every song has something about jat and I just get like, ugh, and turn it off. But this time I continue listening and what I realize is that he's telling his story and his truth. And honestly, some people just couldn't handle it. It's been a very, very tough year being a Punjabi. First, it was Deep Sidhu who got killed. And now it is Sidhu Musewala. And they are giving different reasons for why he was killed. Some are saying that it was just a, a hate crime thing, jealousy and gang related. Someone is just saying that it's a political game. No one knows for sure. But what we do know is someone really hated him that much that they wanted him dead. And this is a very big problem, not only in Punjabi industry, but all over the world. Here in Sweden, I can give you the best example. But a surge in gun crime here and nationwide has made Sweden one of the worst countries in Europe for gangland shootings. Rappers are killing each other like every other day just because someone roasted someone in their music video. Now, let's be honest, we all have someone that we hate very very much or at least dislike and i'm not gonna sit here and say like stop hating people and and like obviously that would be something that would be wonderful but people are not even listening to our guru so why would they listen to me the story i want to tell in this video is to explain how to use hate as your advantage and not in a way that will make you a bad person and to do that i'm gonna give you an example that really speaks to me and i really hope that you get something from it too i'm gonna start talking about my favorite swedish guy and if you know me you know that i'm a huge fan of slatan now we're not gonna talk about the sports side of slatan what we're gonna talk about is the mentality of slatan and other pro athletes that were at the top of the game and now i'm talking about like serious top elite athletes sometimes it's better to be the bad guy because then you know really what the person think about you because when they say they like you you don't know if they like you but when they say they hate you then you know they really hate you but i make haters become my fan that's my problem so i need more haters if you think I whoop Sonny Lister, you wait till I get George Fulman. He talks too much, he's ugly, he's pretending I'm the true champion, and they make me the underdog, I'm going to show them all they're wrong, because I'm the champion, I'm the real champion, there'll never be one like me. I came back for the love of this, to come and shoot this man up, a little rat, a little weasel, a little hard man in groups, I've met many of them through my years, a man who grows in numbers, but on, on his own and when confronted in a similar situation, cowers away. What all these athletes had in common is that they're actually using the hate to motivate them to become even better. So the hate is actually doing them a favor. I honestly don't think that Slatan would be where he is if he didn't have so many people hating on him every single day. And now I'm talking about media, players, coaches. They probably hate his gut and he hates them too. If you look at this video, like you can just see the hate in his eyes. And if you look at McGregor, like he is the king of trash talking. He just destroys his opponent by calling in names, talking trash, and, and like he goes all in. And as soon as the fight is over, they're hugging each other. They're like, okay, let's get it over with. Let's live for another day. And all that hate that they had to each other was just to motivate themselves to be aggressive and get the adrenaline pumping to win the match. So what I'm trying and I will recommend you guys is to learn from these people. They are at the top for a reason. They take that hate as a motivation to, to prove, to show that I'm bigger than your trash talk. Whatever you say to me, whatever you do, I'm not gonna be offended. I'm gonna be the bigger, 
the better guy and I'm gonna prove you whether it's on the football field or if it's in the boxing ring that's where everything is about to go down and in the case of Sidhu Musewala all right hold on a second before you watch more of this video like at this point I didn't know and I still don't know the real reason why Sidhu Musewala got killed but what I'm hearing the most is that it was gang related. Now, I don't know if this is a political thing. However, I'm just gonna go from now that this was the case. What I think is that he probably had a beef with someone and he took it out with what he does best, which is music. And he's using his word. He is showing off guns and stuff in his music video, but that's his art. Like that's his way of expressing himself. He chose his music to be that way. And if you look at his personal life, like I don't think he's even close to what he appears to be in the music videos. I also got DMs from people that told me that they met him and that he was the most humble guy they ever talked to. He was probably the biggest mama's boy, just like me. And sitting with the mom and dad and drinking cha, like that was probably the real Sidhu Musewala. And I, I don't know for sure, but that's what I think. Someone could probably not handle the heat, not handle the success of Sidhu Musewala, seeing him do so well in such a young age, and at the same time, giving them some, some heat, roasting them in the music video, which is totally fine. That's something you you do, that's trash talk. That's, that's Mac McGregor, like he's the king of that, like I said before. And someone simply couldn't handle that and decided to, to do a horrible thing. I know this is a very odd video. I usually don't make videos like this. I'm not promoting hate, nor am I neglecting it. All I'm saying, use the hate as your advantage. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and thank you for the comments on my previous videos. It really warms my heart to see all of you guys really caring about me leaving YouTube. And I'm just gonna say it once again, I'm not gonna leave YouTube. I just have some different priorities right now, but my main goal, as you know, is to become a full-time YouTuber. As always, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you guys in the next video.